seriously I will not miss this place I need like maybe 10 minutes to calm myself down gather my thoughts and then I will take uh, another clip where I explain to you why Finnish embassy here in Delhi must be the worst like embassy worst place in the world stay tuned Namaste, my friends. As you might have seen in a few of my earlier vlogs, we had to visit Delhi two weeks ago, just before Diwali. And there have been some comments questioning my so-called choice to travel to Delhi during the COVID pandemic and when the cases are spiking up there. But I didn't really have a choice in this matter. And this vlog is all about the main reason why we had to go to Delhi which is that I had to personally visit my Finnish embassy to renew my passport because obviously I don't want to be thrown out of the country and after November uh, I would not be able to travel during my last trimester and then obviously not right after the delivery either so I have to go now to do the renewal and unfortunately that is something that I just had to do in person but let's go to Delhi and I will share my experience with the Finnish embassy with you guys. Let me just say, it was not that pleasant and smooth as you might expect from Finland. Yep, so going home <laughs> to Finland. I somehow doubt that there would be even many Finns at the Finnish embassy here. Uh, they haven't served me at any point in Finnish. Yeah. Okay, so I had sent multiple queries to the Finnish embassy before we came to Delhi. Uh, I had lots of questions about the renewal process for my passport, how it works at the embassy, what do I need, do I really have to travel there personally during the pandemic? And their automatic reply did warn that it might take a while because of all the queries during the pandemic, but it shouldn't take longer than three weeks. So. When it was already a month after my first query and I didn't get any reply, I started to get like really, really worried because I was approaching the deadline of the like window of our uh, travel options. Uh, so I had Vinod uh, personally call the embassy and he did reach the like consular service number where uh, it wasn't possible to get service in Finnish. Uh, so he talked with, uh, I think, an Indian staff member uh, on the phone and he got some like really bad service like none of the questions got answered and the person just uh, told Vinod that I should send email to the embassy. You know what? I had already sent an email. I'm, I'm not getting an answer to it. So why are you on the phone telling me that I should send an email and approach like that and you don't seem to have any clue about the issues that I'm dealing with currently. But anyways, then I did try sending another query to about the very same questions. And this one I wrote in English because I wasn't sure if I will be served in my native language at the Finnish embassy. And yes, then finally to this, I got a reply, but it wasn't even really addressing the questions that I was asking, which were like very specific circumstances in this special situation that I needed some replies to, because I had obviously already Googled all of this. I had read the embassy website thoroughly, all the like Finnish sites and all. But I just got links to all these like information sites that I had already read and pretty much the only personal reply that I got was that I have to personally come to the embassy in Delhi and apply for the renewal of my passport. But yeah, that was all the information that I was given. So we planned our trip to Delhi and this is how it continued. This area is really fancy. Hmm. I was just asking Vinod why there are so many uh, Indian army soldiers on this like embassy lane and uh, apparently it's like some kind of country specific, specific thing and when I found out that this new property here is the US embassy I was not that surprised anymore I guess like they need a lot of security yes 
But, uh, what was I saying? But it is very different from the US Embassy in Finland uh, because it is very small there. Very small. Oh my god, it's getting hot. But we have arrived! I think. Yes, it says Finland, right? Yep. Yay! Closest to Finland that I've been. <laughs> Walk and search still continues because apparently we were at the like main diplomatic site or something that is only reserved for the important people. So now we have to tour all the way to the back side where we lowly Finnish citizens go. And hopefully we'll get to apply for my passport. But like seriously, all this here, like hundreds of meters, is Finnish property. And I'm a little bit confused that even Finland has this huge embassy here in India, when pretty much all the embassies in Finland are so small. Oh. I, you could fit all the Finnish population here, probably. Austrian embassy, and hopefully we're just like 50 meters away from the uh, correct gate to my bureaucracy issues. Hey, I think we have arrived. You can see the gate here. Obviously, I will shut this down now because security. So sorry for the background music there, but we have shoddy going on in the neighborhood. So this can't really be avoided in the next few days. Anyways, the Finnish embassy in Delhi has very limited opening hours. For consular services, they are only open four days a week from Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. So we had to plan our trip to Delhi accordingly. Uh, we went there already on the previous day because we drove there from Jaipur. My expectation was that this would be as smooth of a process as it is in Finland, considering all the info that I had read online and all. But then, once we did arrive to the embassy, they told me that apparently suddenly I need to have an appointment with the passport services there. How am I supposed to know this when this does not read anywhere online in the instructions? I have multiple times tried to contact the embassy and I have not been told this. I have only been told that I need to come to Delhi in person. And we had like this lengthy fight or fight at the visitor's gate at the embassy. And uh, the funny thing is that they didn't seem to talk any uh, English even at the gate. So it was Vinod actually who was doing all the communication with the Indian gate staff. And I was just like confused because I didn't seem to play any part in uh, this process. Vinod was talking on the phone to uh, some manager there, again, an Indian person. And everyone was just like insisting that I need to have an appointment, even though no one seems to be realizing that I had already had to travel to Delhi from North Kerala, being pregnant in the middle of a like huge global pandemic and there is like no lenience in this until uh, in the end they graciously agreed to like give me an appointment which is like guys not gracious it's your least responsibility to do that in a situation where you don't provide information to the visitors coming to the embassy and then you just expect me to telepathically know that I need to make these sorts of preparations in the middle of a pandemic. Seriously, based on this experience, I would give just one star, barely, to the embassy operations. It's just like I was really freaked out that, oh my god, are, will we be forced to travel to Delhi later again in my condition? But like I said, they gave me an appointment at 2 p.m. 
which still felt really bad because now we had to spend more time in Delhi. We had to search for a lunch place there and hang out somewhere in the neighborhood of the embassy because obviously in just like a few hours we couldn't drive somewhere else to a mall or anything because uh, transportation in Delhi takes so long. But off we went trying to look for a lunch place. And thank goodness uh, in the uh, Indian state embassy area we found this like really nice Goan house uh, canteen place which had amazing food. So this is almost like traveling all over India on this holiday because now we are having Goan food which we both love very very much. So we're having uh, kingfish fry and uh, Goan prawn curry today with rice and I saw that there is ice cream sundae for dessert, so I might just have to have that because then we have to drive all the way back to Jaipur. So maybe that will keep us energized for the home drive. Oh my god. So, <laughs> going against my own rules, we're now starting with the dessert because I'm like really hungry and we have limited time. So let's just dig in. It's an ice cream sundae, apparently chocolate sauce, apple, and vanilla ice cream. Oh my god, this. I'm not sure if I want to give any to Vinod. Should I? Should I? Mm, yep. He can have the apple, so I'll have the ice cream. Can I serve? Yep. Smells amazing. I got this. Oh, it's so it's so soft and juicy here. Yeah. It's a kingfish rava fry. Mm. Mm, yes, sweet chili sauce. And then you can take the other lemon for yourself. Yeah. This. Uh, finishing her go and lunch and now I'm feeling my remarks about the food which was absolutely amazing mm, yep. and I plan to tell that there was a Finnish girl here who absolutely loved everything she ate and Bihar knew us Arunachal house is there not sure what is there but all these so many kind of like state embassies here in Delhi. Many of them have like these canteens, like the Goan one that we just visited for lunch. And this is a really, really nice area. Like I think this whole big district here in Delhi is with all the like state and embassy and all those. And oh, oh my God, now that I'm walking again, the food is just like, sinking in my tummy and oh, I would just be so happy to have a little nap now but now I'm on my way back to the Finnish embassy and let's hope for a better result now and honestly I was already prepared for the worst because I was just so nervous that I wouldn't even get to make my passport application in Finnish and uh, that they would create some issues there telling me that I'm missing some documents and again uh, I need something that wasn't provided in the online info and I got even more nervous as I found out that for this visit Vinod would not be allowed to go inside with me and uh, also, they told me that I'm not even allowed to take my phone, even though I have some of my important documents on my phone, like my current visa, because I don't have a paper version of that. I just have the online file. So I was really, really nervous at this point. Finally, as I reached the passport office with someone escorting me there and like keeping an eye all the time, I finally got to deal with an actual Finnish staff member and at this office, the process actually went like really smooth and efficient, like it would in Finland, which I had been expecting all along. The passport officer just like filled in my details from the uh, old passport, took my uh, new passport photos and uh, took the fee and just like put 
all those together to send to Finland and made some special arrangements according to the fact that I would not be able to visit Delhi again to pick up the passport myself so I would get it delivered at our home address. So I was very happy about uh, how the like actual office there took care of my concerns. But all in all, I must honestly say that as a Finnish citizen, I am so embarrassed by the operations of my own embassy in a big country like India. Whereas like, I think we Finns are pretty famous for our smooth and efficient operations. But this was not my experience at all. And... I had not been prepared for anything like this. I would honestly say to any Indian tourists coming to uh, Schengen countries in the future that if possible, please try to maybe apply for your visa at a different embassy. I think it was like very unreasonable to put me through all these hurdles when the Finnish government itself tells us citizens that we should avoid any kind of like travel during this pandemic. But I guess all is well that ends well. My passport application was approved, so I should be getting my new passport in the next few weeks by mail. Fingers crossed. And hopefully I will not have to deal with the embassy in a very near future, because I'm a little bit traumatized by this. I think in the future I will just try to travel to Finland to take care of these bureaucratic issues. Hello. Goodbye Finnish Embassy. I will not miss you. But finally we did get all the issues sorted out and we got to drive away from Delhi back to the safety of our home in Jaipur. And thankfully it seems that uh, we were able to avoid the risks in the traveling, uh, hopefully by the strict safety measures that we were following. So we have been feeling very fine after that. Thank you for watching and there will be one more daily vlog coming up and today I'm so excited because we are packing to go visit our ancestral villages in Haryana. So exciting. I can't wait to share that with you guys too. So I'll see you later. Mwah.